It's an easy takeaway for the home side. Pivik inside, beautiful assist to Bates underneath the bucket. And then the Nicholson Emma Mahardy duel will be one to watch. Gee, Pivik to Bates and the Americans operating on the same page. Back out Mahardy again. These offensive rebounds starting to tally up for the Southern Vale Homes Bandits. Intercepted here by Pivik against three Sharks and drives all the way to the glass. Sutherland and the team playoff bound and the Southern Vale Homes Bandits, well, they'll need to win the men's clash or they're gone. They won't play playoffs at all. Mahardy, that's some sort of way to get her scoring. Murphy. Lauren Nicholson dominating with 25 points as Ash Hannon starts with a three to get the home side going into the second half. They must have Pivek on the floor for the majority of this second half. Yeah, roll the dice. That's somehow found its way to Bates. Hannon obviously got the call. It was going to Bates. This is... Pivik somehow finds it to the lane. Hovada went down. Unlikely player to get the scoring going in the final term. It's her first points of the night. And it's a big moment to do it. The lead out to nine. As high as it has been tonight. It was nine during the third as well. Bates for a couple. Cuts it to seven. I said in the first half, she will be the Eastern Conference Player of the Week. No question. Pivik. Unless she can light it up in the final term. The Bandits coaching staff after that last turnover. Pivik fouled, counted, and won. Well, it's going to take something exceptional. The old change it from one to a two-point play. Bates underneath the hoop. 28 points for her tonight. 